are we doing the right things in Ghana? We're talking the digital economy. Unfortunately, we are not seeing the revenues, even though we appear to be doing so well on the metrics, everything is showing that, yes, Ghana, we are participating, yes. but revenues are not showing. What is it that we are not doing right? Okay, I, I think that uh, we've done quite well in terms of putting in place infrastructure. The telephones are everywhere, even in the villages and so on. And that's called the government has, the governments have pushed, and, and that seems to be going well. What we are missing at the moment is, is now what rides on the technology, on the infrastructure, um, the innovations. I, I, don't, I know that, I mean, I was in Kenya yesterday. The, the Kenyans thought, after talking to a few of them, hey, Ghanaians, you guys are very innovative. Fine, no problem. Now, that innovation needs to be harnessed. It needs to be supported and, and, and deliberate interventions. The deliberate interventions need to be made to make sure that the youth and the innovation capability materializes. Uh, I will give you an example. If, for example, in the public sector, they had a situation where there was deliberate, a deliberate effort to push certain IT projects to local companies, and I've said this for 20 years, it will change everything. Uh, also, issues like copyright. People are stealing people's things all over the place. Right? There needs to be a couple of landmark cases that will solve that problem once and for all. Otherwise, nobody will innovate. So there's a bright future. I think Ghanaians are particularly innovative. And we, I dare say, I won't mention places, but I've, I've, I've worked in other parts of Africa. I think we've got something special here in Ghana. The, the powers that be just need to decide that it is going to be a priority. That decision hasn't been made yet. They're still going shopping abroad. I don't want to mention specific projects, but there are lots of projects that could have been done by Ghanaians in Ghana that are exported. And uh, that needs to change. If that doesn't change, we'll continue to be a country that consumes and we will miss the boat. And, and it could be a disaster because with the artificial intelligence revolution that's coming, a lot of jobs are going to be lost. If we don't make the effort, AI is coming. There's going to be lots of, lots of jobs are going to go anyway. We must deliberately prepare, prepare our people, our youth, to be gurus in, in the ICT and AI specifically revolution. Because I'm telling you, the farming jobs are going, the factory jobs are going, the driving jobs are going. There'll be nothing left. If we set ourselves up that we're just buying things from abroad and the few jobs that are left, we are doing it, we'll have Arab Spring on our hands. So we need to plan ahead. Our country needs to make money in terms of tax collection by supporting, supporting technology providers in Ghana with, I say, the easiest way to do it is to use government procurement to give the young people opportunities. There are lots of ideas sitting there not being implemented. Next thing we hear, they bought it from abroad. This is creating unemployment in our industry. And it's creating a lack of motivation for, for people to even go into the industry. You know, why go if there's no hope? But there's lots of uh, opportunities and lots of challenges. We have not started addressing those challenges yet. There's no deliberate policy that I am, I am aware of. Or there's no evidence that I have seen that we are moving deliberately in that direction. We are still purchasing technology. We are not creating technology. In other countries, they are doing the opposite. They are creating technology, even technology that other people do better than them, for the people to gain experience and know how to do it for the new digital economy. They are actually going out of the way, even when it's inefficient, to create the, the, the knowledge. It's not the case in our country yet, and uh, we hope that it will become the case soon. Otherwise, we'll be in serious trouble, serious, serious trouble. Revolution after revolution after revolution. Now, even for the things that we can do for ourselves that we are not doing, you're talking about copyright, for instance. Yes. You don't see owners fighting enough to even make a case for themselves. How do we correct this situation? Okay. We were talking about even expecting landmark cases so that others can also ride on, but it's not happening. We come yes. to graphic where we, we work, and your publication in the paper that you're going to sell is replicated all over platforms um, the next day. I'm very, very happy that you said this, because we are suffering the same thing in the software industry. And you can imagine your article took a day to write. Our stuff takes three years to write. So what needs to happen is that 
we also need to have some landmark cases which we push. You know, but the government needs to take the copyright. The copyright office needs to be very serious. I'm not saying they're not. It needs to be very, very serious for a few people to go to jail. When that happens, people will sit up because it's a big problem. You, I'm sure, ask yourself, why should I write this article and be paid a salary by graphic to write this article when somebody is going to copy it and go and sell it to the public at a higher price and advertise against an article you conceived in your head and you wrote? It's quite immoral. And some people call themselves Christians and they behave like that. It's quite fascinating. They must not fear God at all. I don't know. The, the, the common man on the street selling wache is not necessarily paying tax. So the few people who, are, who can be identified and ring fenced are paying all the tax and it's then causing a, a collapse of the, those few businesses. Uh, the civil servants too are being forced because they can't dodge. They work for government, so they are being forced to pay the tax. There are ways to collect tax from small tax, small, something small, from everybody. We've made some proposals to government. We are waiting for the answers. But these things should be treated as urgent. I don't know that they are being treated as urgent. And I don't know that local companies are being prioritized in solving these problems. And sometimes there are all kinds of vested interests. And you know what I mean. It can get very complicated. I'm 55 now. I'm getting tired. I'm 40 and 40 and 40. So sometimes you let some go. But we are not doing what we are supposed to do yet. We can, but we are not doing it. Other countries are doing it. Rwanda is doing it. They are not confused. And Ghana, I believe, is better placed. We have better pedigree. We are ahead broadly of a lot of other people. I'm being careful how I speak, but I think Ghana, Ghana can do it better and quicker than other people who are doing it better than us. And uh, the fix is very easy. It's a policy change, it's an ideological change, it's a deliberate intervention to create jobs for the youth in the digital economy and the future. And I don't think we are doing that yet.